Hi everyone, welcome to this Black Dog tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do the sort of extreme side chain compression effect where you hear synths, uh, it gives it that sucking effect. This is a really extreme version and like a special effect, but you can use side chaining just to help with your mixing. So, for example, if you're mixing a live band, you may have uh, gated your kick drum so that it's on its own and then you've got a bass line, a live bass line, you could side chain the kick to the bass just for the purpose of letting the kick push through a tiny bit so the bass would dip down a little bit every time the kick played and give the kick some prominent punch. Obviously the listener, you don't, you wouldn't want the listener to know that that was happening in that situation but today I'm going to show you how it's done when you hear it on synths and stuff, uh, leads in electronic music mostly. I've used this myself when I've done stuff for record labels in the past, produced electronic music. Um, I'm going to show you the really quick way that I did it. There's some really in-depth tutorials on YouTube, uh, but this one has worked for me in the past. So just for this, this demonstration, I've just got a straight kick jump on channel 1. And then on channel 2, I've just got a boring straight lead like brass sound. <laughs> And basically, to get that sucking effect, all you have to do is stick a compressor onto your channel where you want to have the the sucking effect take place. So I'm, I want it to obviously happen on here. And what we're going to do is open the compressor up with this button, click side chain. And all you do is tell this lead where you want it to receive the audio input from obviously ours is our kick and all that it's doing is telling it every time that the kick drum plays it's gonna turn down the lead and that's what gives it this sucking effect so it won't do it straight away because you're gonna have to move one parameter which I'm going to show you now so have a listen to them together so you can't hear it yet and what you need to do is pull down your threshold and that's gonna let more of the kick through and tell it to turn it down more, so have a listen. So you can hear every time the kick plays, because we've got that on such an extreme setting, it totally dips the volume down of the lead. It's a cool effect. Obviously you can play around with your ratio and attack and release as well to give desired, different desired effects, so you can have a listen here. So yeah, that for me is all I was doing. Um, like I say, there are other tutorials which go really in depth, but I wanted to keep it quick and easy for you, and that's how I'd do it. Any questions, give us a shout. Thanks.